Welcome back team. In this video, we're going to be looking at SQL Server computed columns. Computed columns allow me to calculate uh, using a formula some value and we're going to place it in a cell. You can see here that I have a table and I have five columns. I've got a, a primary key, like a unique identifier, employee name, and then three bit columns. And we'll see if there's any data in there. And notice it's blank right now. So here you can see I have three insert statements. My goal is to sum up the number of languages that uh, each person speaks. So you can see here that I'm inserting true and false. Uh, true is um, one, false is zero. So when these get inserted into the table, let's take a look at that data and select star. And you can see here that uh, the Spanish person only speaks Spanish. So Spanish person only speaks Spanish. And Scott, the very first guy, he, he only speaks English. So what if we want to do now, which is the goal of this video, is to create a computed column. I want one more column over here that says like number of languages spoken and I want it to compute it for me when I change it. So what we'll do here is we will come down and the name of this new column is going to be called num of spoken languages. And then I'm going to come right click on this and say design. I'm going to drop in this new column and then its data type is int. And we need to change one of the properties and it's called computed column specification. And what that is, is this is going to be a formula. We have to type a formula for it to be a computed column. And this is that formula. And what I'm going to do is for each of these bit columns, I'm going to convert it to an integer. So I'm going to be using the command called convert. It's a function. So convert this data type to int. And then I'm going to add that with the next column, speak Spanish. I'm going to convert that to an integer and add those together and then do that for also German. So this is my formula. So let's paste that into that column, that property. And then I'm gonna save this. Yes, and refresh this so you can see it. And you can see now that we have a computed column of type integer. And now when I go and execute my SQL statement, it will actually go up there and this line should tell me that there is one spoken language, two, and one. Let's see if that's true. And you can see here that our computed column, num of spoken languages, came out and it computed the correct value for me. You can see here that Spanish person only speaks one language. Someone else speaks two languages. And there you have it, computed columns. See you next time, team.